Hello and welcome. This is Craig from Calgary Hyundai. I would like to introduce you to our 2014 Hyundai Santa Fe Sport 2.0T Limited with all-wheel drive in black. It's been carproof verified and has undergone our 152-point inspection and reconditioned as needed. It has 44,004 kilometers. It's a one-owner vehicle and has had zero accidents. Some of its highlights include a navigation system, leather seats, blind spot detection, HID headlights, backup camera and sensors, heated steering wheel, ventilated front seats, and much, much more. Let's take a closer look. The Limited we have here is in excellent condition. The uh, stone chips are at a minimum. Nothing that's uncommon here for Calgary, that's for sure. No major dents or anything like that. Uh, it's in great shape. Comes with fog lights. Uh, the HID headlights are, as I mentioned, are included with the uh, Limited model. Over here we've got our wheels. They are 19 inch, I believe they call them Euro flange wheels. Four old discs all around. The tires themselves are in very good condition. The uh, tread life left is uh, more than sufficient for a few years. Also you get mud flaps on all four wheels. That helps protect from uh, damage. What I have here is the uh, proximity key for the Santa Fe, which means you can just leave this key in your pocket. There's no external key. It's in fact, there is an internal key that can be accessed by pushing this button right there and pulling out what you see the chrome part here. The key itself, you just go to unlock the door simply by pushing a button on the handle for the driver's side and the passenger side. However, you can lock and unlock from here. Uh, when you do lock and unlock, including from the driver's and the passenger door, you will turn on and turn off the factory alarm system. This button here is just to unlock the tailgate so that you don't have the other doors unlocked. Also, you have the panic alarm right here or the uh, button that's used to help you find your car in the parking lot. Great feature. The Santa Fe Limited has side markers which will indicate when you're signaling to those that are on the side of you, an excellent safety feature. You've got heated mirrors as well. Uh, you can kind of see it but there's the symbol there and that'll light up in the, for the blind spot detection when somebody's in your blind spot. These are heated mirrors as well, they're power and the uh, mirrors themselves, um, they don't have the little symbol for the heated, but I can guarantee you that they have that. To unlock and lock the doors, I mentioned it's on the door here. There we go. On the inside, we've got a few controls. First one I showed you is the memory seats. There's two settings for the driver's side. That would include the memory uh, for the uh, power mirrors, as well as for the seat for on the driver's side. You've also got your power heated mirror controls although the heated one mirrors turn on when you turn on the rear defroster. You've got your power door locks here. You've got your window switches with an auto down and an auto up with pinch protection for the driver's side. And this is the lockout switch for all of the other doors so that you can't, they can't people can't uh, open the or close the windows without you letting them do so. It's a safety feature. The front uh, seats here, you can see that they're leather. They're in excellent condition. Let's take a look. The leather is in great shape. Of course, this has been used, so you can see there's a bit of bending here compared to what's over here, but there's no cracking, there's no damage, there's no tears, rips, burns. In fact, there's no smell of smoke, so and this doesn't look like it was a smoker's vehicle at all. Again, the side here, the bolsters are deep for maximum comfort. These headrests, will actually move, hard to see, but you can actually move them so that they're come in the perfect position for you. The seats are also heated and they are ventilated, which is fantastic in the summertime, as you can see right there. Going back here, down below you can see that we've got a power adjustment. This is a 12-way power seat, plus four-way power lumbar for maximum comfort. One thing I forgot to show you on the driver's door is some storage. See that there's a uh, cup holder there for a bottle and some more storage. Kind of hard to see, but uh, quite deep pockets there. Well, let's go look at the back seat. How big the door opening is on the Santa Fe. Look at that. Huge. You can see that you've got 
this straight across the nice angle here in a curve carved out as well as for the bottom here a large opening for your shoes your boots the rest of it of course is for whatever clothes you're wearing whatever sport you play you can wear your hat over here on the drivers on the uh, driver's side the door you've got heated seat controls for the rear passengers as well as of course your window controls plus there's a sunshade blind works very well and then you've got some storage down here as well cup holder and some deep storage the rear seats are um, sl can slide back and forth and uh, I'll try to show you that on the other side but what I wanted to give you a good view of and it's kind of hard for me to do with one hand but these seats can go s straight up for cargo uh, carrying watch this there's a little handle down here there we are those are 90 degrees right now try it one more time there we go put it back it's 90 degrees so that you can carry a box and it can line up flat against the back of the seat the seats themselves recline quite a bit so you'll have to watch over here as I recline because it's hard to do with one hand we'll try it one you're in one position two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve I think it's 12. I could have missed one there. Anyway, you can see from straight up to, let's take a rest position. Very good. This uh, middle seat, by the way, will fold down. I'll show you how that works shortly. And let's go to the back. The cargo area is quite generous with the uh, Santa Fe. It's one of the things it's known for. I'm just gonna go in a little bit closer here. You can see that on the backs of all three of the seats that you've got your latch your top latch as I'd mentioned there's your folding seat for the middle there for longer items while still having the ability to carry two people the uh, seat belts themselves I can barely reach because it it's so deep will lock in place there if you like another nice feature is that you can in fact fold the seats down from here by pulling that so I didn't have to do it from the front the area that you see over here that would be for a cargo cover that you can purchase from us further down you've got another you got a 12 volt plug-in and then you've got various connections for your uh, cargo uh, net and so on and so forth underneath here stand back here you can see you've got some cargo storage you can see the different compartments and the great thing about that is you can hide away valuables like a trunk in a car. You can put away your washer fluid, snow brushes, whatever you might want to put down here. And it's easy to get to. The nice reinforces you could hear top. There's a second one here. There's your wheel lock nuts. Here's all your equipment for, oh, that's your front plate. Uh, here's all your equipment for spare tire. And you can see there's a place to tie down. Could, it could be something like a uh, fire extinguisher. You can put a medical kit back here, whatever you might want. And there's the way to get to your spare tire to be able to lower it. There's also a speaker back here. And this is for the from the 10 speaker audio, Infinity Audio System, which I think sounds wonderful. Up above, we've got a handle to help grasp make it easier to lower and in fact it's very simple to do so and there we go and there you have a wiper on the back as well step back very good condition no scratches or anything no damage back here it's an, been well taken care of I almost forgot I wanted to show you that middle row seat how it folds down and there you go so I'm going to show you the uh, rear seat on the other side and show you how the seats uh, slide back and forth. Move the rear seat all the way forward, which is quite a bit because that one there is in its original position. You can use this for reaching in to grab something if necessary instead of going to the back. Uh, you can, all, especially if you've got like say a child seat there. The other thing you can use it for is to pull items in that are a bit longer. 
Again, not having to fold the seats down because it's like a child seat. So it's a nice extra uh, bonus that you have here. And for extra comfort, longer items to move the seat forward just in case you have to have somebody sitting here. Very, uh, what I wanted to show you was just the nice padding that's used on the ceiling in the uh, Santa Fe. It's also fits in because this has the panoramic sunroof as you can we'll show you shortly and it goes into this very nice high quality material which is easy to clean but looks great and then further down below here we've got rear vents for the uh, passengers on the right and left I can adjust that nice feature I've seen that in luxury cars we've got it as well back here at the front I wanted to show you the condition of the seats no issues fantastic shape bolsters headrest yeah no damage whatsoever over here you've got a locking glove box and uh, just push the button there there we go you got all your books here including the French one just in case you need it and as well as this has the navigation system there's your uh, multimedia as well as the navigation system uh, instruction manuals and a nice large glove box. Here we come over to the driver's side again. Let's open the door here. And what I just wanted to show you here is we've got the easy entry seat. So it goes back for you when you open the door and we'll go back to its position that it was before when you start the vehicle up. You've got here your storage inside the armrest. Nice little top spot here for little items and then there's a it's very deep for other items this is in some place you've got some extra bit of storage there and some cup holders and what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the uh, sunroof give me one moment and I'll just uh, start up the car and we'll try that out so one touch operation to open and close the sunshade and then here you've got the button to vent the sun roof and then you pull this back sorry and that'll open it up completely to the back there so uh, again for <laughs> wind buffeting and of course the potential of people throwing things out the sunroof I've seen some comparisons with that it's a one touch close with a pinch protection and there you go the same time that you do that it'll close the uh, sunshade as well which is quite nice let it start it up let's make sure we have our foot on the brake there we go my seat is now going forward there we go as you can see we've got 44,004 kilometers I'd mentioned earlier and that you've got your trip information here and that's available by controls on the steering, which I'll show you shortly. Very clear gauges, easy to read. On the steering wheel, you get your volume controls here. Over here is your cruise control. This is the driver. Um, uh, you can change the steering wheel uh, the way that the weight is. So that you can have a steering wheel which is a bit more firm normal and then a bit more soft whatever you prefer further below we've got all the trip computer information as well as your menus to adjust various features in the uh, Santa Fe and that's by doing up here so I'm gonna adjust your trip information range you have your instant fuel economy there trip A trip B and so on and so forth then we'll click the menu, XM radio, compass, and so on and so forth. Adjusting the door lamps, different kinds of settings. Over here, we've got your Bluetooth controls, answering and hanging up if your phone is connected. Push this button. You must agree to use the system. And of course, agree. Let's see what happens when we do that on the 
That's the navigation system that we can see. This is for your voice control. Please say a command after the beep. Cancel. Cancel. So you can adjust stations, I believe. Um, if you have names that are in a uh, uh, phone numbers, whatever the voice controls allow you to do with the navigation system, uh, quite extensive. Uh, the owner's manual section is quite large, so I won't go into too, too much depth, but it's quite a good system. You can see that you've also got the backup camera. Let me go into reverse. And one thing I'll show you is that your mirrors on this side when you go into reverse also dip. And that's another safety feature to give you better visibility, especially if you're like parallel parking, that kind of thing. So you've got your backup camera and you've got your radio which if you were to press this button here, shows you what radio station you're on and all the controls. And this is a touch screen, of course. And so, and therefore, uh, uh, very easy to learn. Honeys are famous for that, uh, even though you've got all the touch screen. CD player down below here with the radio, I wanted to show you've got your plugins for a smartphone, an MP3 player, there's a couple of 12-volt plugins as well. Up above, we've got your front and rear defroster. This is great because when you have ice on your windshield, as, long, as well as it's defrosting the windshield, it'll turn on heating elements to uh, melt the ice so your windshield wipers aren't stuck. You have your auto adjustment for your climate control and all the other modes and such. It's a very simple display and easy to learn. Down below, I showed you this earlier, you can turn it on and off your rear parking sensors. And this also has a manual shift mode that if you go over, you can see that you can manually shift. This is in great condition. Uh, there's a couple of marks here and there. I think this is the original windshield, but in, in uh, fantastic shape. No need to uh, put a new one in here at all. You've got a sunshade band to keep the sun from blinding you. You've also got this nice feature which protects your eyes from the sun over above the mirror. You've got the compass in the mirror. This is an automatic dimming mirror. You've got your home link buttons. So if you have a garage door opener or any other automated device, you can program it into one of those buttons and hide your remote controls away. Over here we've got a place for your sunglasses. You've got your map lights. You've got lighted vanity mirrors on both front side. This is for putting uh, cards, parking tickets, uh, whatever you might have. And there's your light. And it's set up to turn off when you close. And up here you've got your microphone for the Bluetooth and a handle here to help you get in and out of the vehicle. On the outside here again, I want to show you a few more buttons. You've got your heated steering wheel button here. Also, you've got your blind spot detection. You can turn that on and off. This is turn off your traction control, stability control, just in case you're stuck in the snow and you don't want to burn it out by rocking it back and forth. This here is your downhill assist to help prevent your brakes from being overheated going down a hill. And then of course your adjustment for your instrument panel brightness. You have your active eco button that helps you with fuel economy, to improve your fuel economy. You can turn that on and off. Then this lock button is to help because this is a fully automatic system, but uh, and it works very, very fast. Uh, you may not even know that it's working because you're moving. But just in case you think it's really slippery and you want that extra traction right off the bat, you can push this uh, going up a hill when it's icy, whatever. That'll lock all four wheels for maximum traction. And for maximum fuel economy and to reduce wear and tear, it'll disengage after a certain speed because, of course, you're moving. You don't need it anymore. And uh, let's go down here and we're going to open up the trunk and look or un under the look under the hood and uh, look at the engine bay let's take a look here we go you've got no prop rod needed because you have hydraulic struts there I want to show you that we've got a an acoustic mat to reduce noise and then we'll just back up here and take another look here of the engine bay Hyundai has a is very well known for its engineering. It per, what you don't see sometimes is sometimes the most impressive 
uh, parts of the car, how well things are designed, the quality of the, uh, the way things are joined together and how everything is finished. Uh, the engine bay is no different, logically designed, no wires or hoses all over the place. It's very good for both owners and for mechanics and I'll show you what I mean. What we have here is this wonderful washer fluid cap. It doesn't get in the way like some do. Locks in place right up front where it should be. You can check your uh, coolant there. You have your oil. It can be checked here. And then there's also, of course, to fill up the oil right there. Nice thing here, you've got a nice uh, cover to keep it clean, which is exceptionally important. You have here your air box, your uh, air cleaner, sorry. You have all your brake fluid right there. Your battery is located here with a cover. Keep it nice and clean, just in case. There's a fuse box here. And uh, also, what I wanted to point out is the ease at being able to get to the light bulbs. Now, of course, this has HODs. So really what you'd be changing would be your signals and such and your high beams. But being able to do it yourself if you want to is a great money-saving feature and uh, very convenient.